1029 right now, and if you think about that music, it will probably, if you're of our generation, take you back a couple of decades. Our next guest, a set of musicians from two totally different bands, but they're merging together their musical talents, creating a brand new sound and a new super group that is called Dream Car. Now, the band members, Tony, Adrian, and Tom, are from the band No Doubt. Dream Car frontman, Davey Haddock, from the band AFI. And they merged together in this beautiful harmony, and they already had hit major stages, Jimmy Kimmel Live, The Late Late Show with James Corden, and even Coachella, where I got a chance to see you guys just a couple of weeks ago. At least it seems like it was a couple of weeks ago. Last Friday, the uh, debut album finally dropped, and they're currently on a nationwide tour, making the stop in D.C. tonight at the 930 Club. But first, they join us to dish about the band, the album, the tour, and more. Guys, so good to see you guys this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I guess first, start with how the whole group came together because you, you were able to keep this under wraps for a long time, right? Before yeah. it came out? Um, Tom, Adrian, and myself obviously have been playing together for many, many years and we knew we wanted to continue to play together um, and Davey was a friend of ours and we asked him if he'd like to embark on a musical endeavor with us and we did um, ask him out on a date and had a dinner and presented him with four pieces of music. And uh, he fortunately said yes, and that was the start of Dream Car. What, what were your first thoughts when you heard the music for the first time? Oh, so inspiring. The, the boy sent me four songs after we had had dinner, and the first track that I heard was what became After I Confessed. And that first moment of, of music was so inspirational that I started writing immediately, and I finished that song and f three others within... Uh, with le within less than 48 hours, and I sent it to the boys, and they seemed to enjoy it as well, and so we, we continue to work. And here you are now. This is what I think is really cool about you guys. I I've always appreciated all of your work independently, and I know that even what we hear mainstream from you guys isn't even what you guys really grew up with. You know, Tom, I think you were like a metal guy growing up, uh, which I completely respect that as well. Uh, but, you know, listen, I, I listened to the AFI CDs, and then I listened to the, the old, old, no doubt CDs from the earlier days of the band, and now we have something that just seems completely different. But for people of our generation, it's really cool. What was the, the idea to go back to that kind of 80s sound? You know, when we started experimenting with all these songs, we didn't have a game plan for style or what kind of band we thought it should be. There was no discussion about that. It was more about just getting in a room, being creative, and seeing what felt good. And it just felt good, and we just kept going and kept going, and we kind of landed on what the sound is of Dream Car. And it wasn't really a master plan of any kind. So when you have this now, and you guys are just getting started with the major touring now, is doing the headlining shows, you've done some of the festivals, um, do, does that sound kind of start to evolve and change at all? Or do you, do you know exactly what you want right now? Well, no, having written the record, I mean, for us now, touring is just a matter of us being able to get out there and play these songs that we spent years creating and, and, and honing and perfecting to people who have never heard them before. And, um, you know, the record came out last Friday. So now these are the first shows that we'll be playing since the record has come out. We played a lot of shows, including uh, Coachella, which was such a luxury to be able to play Coachella when you don't have a record out um, before the record came out. And now we're playing these songs that uh, people maybe know. Can you, t I was going to ask about that. Can you tell when you're doing a show after the record comes out as far as before the audience, does it change at all? Now you see more people singing the lyrics maybe as they learn the songs more. How does that differ? Yeah, I think we'll find that out tonight. <laughs> tonight's the first show since we've actually put the record out last Friday. Um, you know, as we were playing the shows on the West Coast, we were releasing song by song, like a couple songs here and there. And so we could see the audience reaction once they had the lyric videos and they had a chance to um, learn the songs and sing them back to us. So we're so excited to get out on stage tonight. And play. You, you guys are veterans of the industry and veterans of touring but my goodness we're just looking at your schedule you're in dc tonight you're in new york tomorrow night you fly back to california on saturday and then fly back to philadelphia on the east coast how do you keep up with it different members <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're like menudo three of us are robots <laughs> mm -hmm. so you have, an, you have an east coast touring we're version right you have a west coast touring version yes. yeah actually tom gives us massages <laughs> so on the plane like, does that make him the lucky one or are you the lucky one that's the big that's, question that's, that's your question. question i love it that's a question for you <laughs> <laughs> what's uh what's going on with with everything else because do you do you put things on hold i mean afi you have a brand new album out that's as uh that literally just came out yeah as well as this Months ago, I'm uh, I'm on tour with AFI right now. So as soon as we finish these Dream Car dates, I'll go back on tour with AFI. And uh, just came off an AFI tour. We uh, played dates in the UK with the Deftones, which were really great. And um, we'll be doing festival dates just after these Dream Car dates in the US, and then back to England.
for one festival. And then okay, Davey, I'm a little scared to get completely inside your head, but yeah. I know as I frontman of AFI, I it's, a, it's, of it's you. yes, it is. I'm that's why I'm treading well. lightly right now. As, as frontman of AFI, it's a little different show than as frontman of Dreamcar. Yeah. So when you're performing and it clicks in. Do you completely separate the two when you're on stage? Absolutely. I, I don't have to consciously do it. The music really informs the separation, uh, which you know is is really why. And I'm, I'm so lucky to have that. I, I this music that we're playing means so much to me, and of course AFI means so much to me. And I have Black Audio, and I have Extremist, and I have all these different musical outlets for um, you know pieces of myself that are very true to who I am. And as you know, the music moves me in one direction or another. Um, so uh, I express myself on, on, on stage in the live forum. It's, uh, it's a really natural thing. Real quick, I can't ask about AFL with the house about No Doubt. Anything in the works with No Doubt at this point? Um, no, right now, um, <laughs> we're, we're doing this. I'll tread lightly on that, too. No, no yeah, no, Gwen's been on The Tom Voice, and <laughs> um, she's been on The Voice and, and doing a great job of that, and so that, you know, affords us the luxury to work on this project. So, um, so you know, hopefully uh, we'll... We'll play again at some point. We just don't know, know when. Well, we're excited to have you here in D.C., excited for the show tonight. Before we let you go, you know, we started the whole show this morning waking up to this, this sh shocking news coming, uh, you know, with the word from former Soundgarden singer Chris Cornell passing away. I know we're all of that generation. A lot of you guys are California guys, Northern California. Um, did you have any thoughts or reaction when you heard about that this morning? I mean, it's devastating. It's just so sad. Um, none of us knew Chris very well, but we, we were acquainted with him, and he was a lovely person. And uh, you know, of course, our hearts go out to his family and all the Soundgarden fans. He was he was so talented um, and just a great guy. That's it's it's heartbreaking. And as they say, the music lives on, and we yeah. can all enjoy him through that music. Uh, well, listen, guys, I, I know I didn't want to end on a total downer. Glad to have you guys here. I love the music. Like I said, I had a chance to see you guys play at Coachella, and uh, I mean, you guys just lit it up, and it was so much fun being there and able to celebrate you guys from the beginning. Now, glad you're launching the tour here in D.C. And I hope everybody goes out to 9:30 Club tonight. Go check them out. There's the information on the screen right now. It's just 35 bucks. Doors open at 7 o'clock. Go down to V Street. And in the meantime, guys, enjoy your day in D.C. Thank you. Before we have to get out of the sound check, I know it's early. We we really appreciate awesome. it. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Thanks so much. Thank Cheers, you. guys. All right. Back over to you.